This edition of Time to Travel goes to Windsor Castle. Windsor Castle is located 21 miles west of London and about six miles from Heathrow Airport, which explains the sight and sound of inbound aircraft. Windsor is the oldest royal residence in continuous use in Great Britain. Construction of the castle began in 1080, when Norman King William the Conqueror built a Mott and Bailey fortification there. An artificial mound was created and a round wooden structure erected. William built the castle as part of a network of fortifications around London. The location was selected because of its commanding view of the Thames River Valley below. The wooden structure was soon replaced with stone and the castle began a centuries-long process of growth and expansion. The castle now covers 13 acres and is divided into three sections called wards. The upper ward is the site of the state and royal apartments, the middle ward, site of the original fortifications, and the lower ward, site of St. George's Chapel. Windsor is one of the official residences of the Queen. She is officially in residence twice each year, March and April for the Easter Court and June for the Ceremony of the Garter when new knights are installed and the Royal Ascot races are held. Windsor is used along with Buckingham Palace to host visiting heads of state. During much of the year, the Queen and family spend their private weekends at Windsor. Public tours are available most of the year, but you should check with the Royal Collection website for specific information and admission prices. Visitors use self-guided audio devices. The tours begin with a walk up Castle Hill through St. George's Gate following the path around the Round Tower, which gives you the opportunity to view the gardens that replace the moat. The Round Tower now houses the Royal Archives. The tour leads to the State Apartments via the North Terrace. The terrace offers a beautiful view of the valley below, where you'll see the Chapel of Eton College, built in the 15th century, and the famous playing fields of Eton. Photography is not permitted inside the State Apartments. That portion of the tour takes about an hour, starting with Queen Mary's dollhouse. It leads through a series of beautiful galleries, drawing rooms, bedchambers, ballrooms, and into St. George's Hall, which was heavily damaged by fire on November 20th, 1992. The hall was undergoing restoration at the time of the fire, and fortunately, much of the furnishing and art had been removed. Restoration was completed in November 1997. St. George's Hall is 180 feet long. It's decorated with the coats of arms of the Knights of the Garter. It is often used for state dinners and can seat 160 at table. After exiting the State Apartments, you'll see the Royal Apartments on the opposite side of the quadrangle. When the Queen is in residence, the changing of the guard takes place here. The quadrangle is often where visiting heads of state are welcome. A statue of King Charles II looks over the space. Visitors exit the upper ward through the Norman Gate, which once was protected by a portcullis or heavy metal gate and three murder holes through which boiling oil could be poured on attackers. The gate also retains the last working gas light at the castle. Yeah. <laughs> they used to pour anything on you. They didn't have time to light fires and boil oil and melt and eat. So they used to pour anything on you, including the contents of the night bucket. <laughs> that was a favourite one. It used to... Uh, nobody liked having that poured on the red. So that's what he used to shove on. And of course the archers used to use it as well. The pathway leads past the round tower and gardens into the lower ward. St. George's Chapel is the focal point of this part of the castle. Work on the chapel began in 1475 under the reign of Edward IV. It was completed in 1528 by Henry VIII, who is buried in the chapel along with nine other sovereigns. The chapel is closed to tours on Sunday, but visitors are welcome to attend worship services. Queen Victoria added a memorial to the chapel in honor of her husband, Prince Albert, who passed away at Windsor in 1861. They are buried at nearby Frogmore House. The guardhouse and gift shop are located in the lower ward. 
When the queen is not in residence, this area is used for the changing of the guard, or the guard mounting as it is officially known. There is no guard mounting on Sundays. During the rest of the year, the ceremony is held on odd-numbered days. It's best to check the website for exact information. Once you leave the castle, you immediately enter the town of Windsor, which is filled with shops and restaurants. If you have the time, go beyond the traditional tourist areas around the castle to get a better feel for the town. Windsor is a great place to take time to travel.